Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tyler, All My Larry Fishing, Bass Slanners Pro Staff, and today we're going to talk about why I catch more bass on crankbaits than you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tyler, All My Larry Fishing, Bass Slanners Pro Staff, and today we're going to talk about why I catch more bass on crankbaits than you. First of all, main reason, the number one uh, thing that will help you catch more fish on crankbaits is your proper gear. So first thing, high speed bait casting reel. The reason I like a high speed bait casting reel is when you're reeling a crankbait, a lot of times, well, it's almost all the time you're getting a reaction strike out of it. So a lot of times those bass will shoot up behind the crankbait. You want, so you want a high speed reel. So if they come up and hit it and keep swimming towards you, you can catch up to that fish and then you're able to lean into it and set the hook on it. So as for gear, high speed bait casting reel, line, uh, I like to downsize my line. I use fluorocarbon pretty much exclusively for all of my setups, but what I have uh, on this particular setup is 10 pounds Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. I go anywhere from 10 to 14. If you're somewhere in like Texas or Florida, obviously you can go up to like 14, 16, 17, something like that. Uh, if you're gonna be fishing areas that are gonna have bigger populations of bass. But for the most part, I keep it between 10 and 14 pound line pretty much anywhere where I'm at uh, for large or smallmouth bass. And then with the rod, the rod may be the most important thing. Let me move over here so I can show you guys how this rod tip bends. Right there. You want a rod tip that's gonna bend super nice and easy. Cause really with, uh, with your treble hooks, you're not gonna, uh, you want it to be a real soft tip. I said soft and easy. You want it to be a real soft tip because you don't wanna pull these treble hooks out of the fish's mouth. With the treble hooks, you would, like I said, you want something soft because if the fish digs or runs and you have too stiff of a rod, it'll just pop those treble hooks literally right out of the fish's mouth. And then, uh, and then the number third, uh, the number third, the number three thing that's really, uh, or well, I guess number two, hold on, I'm skipping a step. So number two with your hook set. Now that I told you your gear, you want your high speed bait casting reel, downsize your line. I like fluorocarbon. And then like, uh, this is a medium action 13 fishing bait black. It has a very soft tip on it. Works phenomenal for these crankbaits. But then uh, on your hook set, you're not gonna, you're basically not gonna bang them home and be hitting home runs like you are with your heavy flipping stuff with the crankbait rod you're going to want to let that tip load up and then just lean into it you're not going to want to sweep super hard i mean you can give it a little you know what i mean a little jerk but you don't want to do anything too hard like i said you want to let it load up get tight 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 and then just lean into her because we're trying to avoid uh, pulling the treble hooks out and by letting it load up when you lean into it it's going to sink those treble hooks in enough they're sharp enough and that's you do want good hooks on treble on uh, crankbaits so make sure you do have uh, good hooks on your crankbaits because a lot of times too bass won't uh, actually bite into a crankbait they'll come up and they'll swipe at it and if you don't have good hooks you're definitely not pinning them up on just uh, just a straight up swipe and then the number uh, the number three so two's our hook set make sure you have good hooks and just and that with that medium rod just lean into it for a hook set and then number three the third step to being a better crankbait fisherman the conditions i like uh i like some a little bit of color to the water from slightly stained to super dirty it doesn't matter any of those ranges there's crankbaits that can work uh for slightly clearer water you can do a tighter a tighter wiggle like a balsa wood uh, like a rapala dt6 or a, a bagley balsa or a bagley uh sunny b they're both balsa crankbaits that are a little more natural or if you get extremely dirty or stained water you can use a square bill crankbait and really kick up some dirt and action and bring it through whatever and bang it off stuff and it's a great muddy water uh great muddy water lure so our three steps to be a better crankbait fisherman the proper gear make sure your hooks are good with that proper gear and the medium action rod, you can just lean into it and it'll bend right over and set those hooks into them. And then number three, fish the proper conditions. And I like it when it's overcast skies and uh, a little bit rainy out or some wind. A little bit of watercolor, a little bit of wind, a little bit of overcast rain. And so, and the reason I like fishing a crankbait in the rain as well, here's a bonus tip, bass get moving around in the rain. Fish just get moving around in general. The water gets a little murked up. They're a little more comfortable, uh, not quite as skittish. Uh, and then that's where you can throw a crankbait and just cover a lot of water and catch fish as they're moving along. The three crankbait tips for better success, and those are the reasons, those are the reasons why I catch more bass on crankbaits, because I utilize the proper gear, 
with the proper hooks and then uh, proper line size so my crankbait actually works right and then I fish the conditions. I don't go out there on a 90 degree day in crystal clear water and fishing uh, fish and crankbaits. I fish them when the time calls, when the, when the situation arises itself, that's when you fish a crankbait. But I'm Tyler, all my Larry Fishing, Bass Slingers Pro Staff. I hope these tips help you guys, and then if they do help you, show a friend and pass it on down the line. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and check out uh, this other video here that I just made the other day.